Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna get blown up. Ho oh, ho. Oh. No we are not. Alright, today we're gonna kill a creeper. With an iron sword. Cha 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 cha. Alright, today we're actually gonna work on the simplified witch farm. Whew, alright. So as you can see, uh, reed farm's going just fine. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Here we go, here is our witch's hut. I simplified reed farm, there's gonna be two platforms for witches to walk off of. I got this set up to do a water drop. And then they will be dropped down 30 blocks down this little hole here. I'll land on a hopper, hopefully die. And we'll go into a chest, and I will have to go empty that every now and again. This is just a little stairway down. It starts over 20 blocks away because I'm going to have to put a half slab roof over this to block lighting. Because um, witches need it to be dark to spawn. I have done a little caving. I'm going to do a little more. I still haven't found diamonds. You can see I have some supplies here. I need to get more bread. Um, I tried checking out that ravine. It's on the other side of the house there. Uh, died a whole lot. Lost a bunch of stuff. Still came out with a little bit, but um, I'm going to wait a little. I was going in unarmored. As you can see, I now have all iron armor, but I only have about 10 iron left, so I don't want to lose this. So I'm just going to go branch mine for diamonds. I'm going to get some stuff together for the platform for the witch hut farm we're about to do, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Got a bunch of cobble to make these platforms out of. So, basically what's going to happen here is witches are confined to spawning inside the boundaries of this hut. So, from this block over to, think about here and then from that bottom leg up to the roof. So we're going to have room for two platforms for them to spawn on. One at this level, they can have that space and that space to be in, and then one right up here because they have that space and the roof. Uh, so hopefully that will work. We're just going to build a simple platform um, just about from... Mm, I'm going to have to make this hole a little bigger. From this block over to just past this leg, it should be a 7x9 area, maybe just to this leg. Um, and then we'll do a second platform and we're just going to put in some water streams so that when they walk off, they get collected down to there and drop to their death and I'll pick up drops every once in a while. So I'll tear down this and put in the platform real quick. And we'll be right back. Alrighty, please keep in mind this is temporary, but we got our guard, we got all the water in there so that the witches will fall down, and we got our two pads. So I'm going to put on a humongous roof and then go do some caving. Um, I'll show you again when I get the roof done, and uh, we'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, our trap is working. Here's the output. So far, some sticks, glass bottles, and take all that stuff up, and I'll show you the trap in a second. Alrighty, here's our trap. Uh, you see, there, oh, there were witches in there. Let's see if we can pull it up real quick. I might need to extend the roof a bit to keep it darker in there. But they do spawn, I promise. I saw six in there a second ago and they all ran off where those spawns came from. So we'll leave this for a bit and uh, go do some caving, come back hopefully with some really good resources and ready to start looking at working on our iron farm. There we go. I'll have to capture a cat. You can see there's a witch in the farm. And get over here, they'll try to run this way. Ow, mind. There, and they fall. Ha. 
off to caving. Got to love me some diamonds. Alright. Alrighty, we are done caving, just checking the trap here. Um, not a bad haul. Found some diamonds. Uh, get right down here real quick. There we go. And I'll show you. Um, about a power one ball of a skeleton, I'll probably recycle. I have some redstone, spider eyes, uh, some diamond there, 14 uh, over a stack of iron, and a bunch of gold. So, not too bad. And I'll go down here and check the witch chest, and then let's, we'll talk iron farm. Even though I have a stack of iron, I'm going to want more. Uh, just some sticks. Alright, so I think I need to AFK in range of the witches for a while for that to really work much better. I did light up a bunch of cave while I was caving. There's a bunch more to do yet. Uh, so I'll have to take care of that as well. And try to make the situation for this more ideal. Ah, there's already a couple in here just for me going down there. So, I have to look up also how to get them to fall off better. Hello, witchy witchy. And figure out why it's upper platform and getting any of them. There might be too much light from the torches above. Uh, I'll take care of that real quick. Alrighty, let's talk iron farm for a minute. We have a prototype witch farm. Eh, could have used you. Anyway, some of you may have noticed these things over here, and what I was looking for is edge of a certain part of the map known as spawn chunks. And these are important because it's a part of the map that's always loaded no matter where you are. So, these right here, the corners where it was those intersect and everything from this way over towards my little house and towards that skeleton towards my little house, we loaded in a 12 by 12 chunk area. So for my iron farm, what I want to do is make sure that my iron farm fits as close to this corner as possible. Because what I'm going to do is use that standard 20 by 20 iron farm area with a pocket for villagers on each of the four corners so if that repre represents their 20 by 20 then we'll have a little area for villagers here one right here one there one on this side and the golem iron golems will be spawned in the middle fall through a hole and go to a area where they'll be turned back into iron bars so there's requirements though for how far apart those can be, which is why I want to stick with the four corners of this 12 by 12 chunk area, because 12 16 block chunks should be 196 blocks. The villages have to be at least 64 away from each other. Uh, it's better to do 70 to 80 blocks. Um, that's horizontal and vertical. So. I could potentially fit nine on each level and then do three levels high, but it'll be much better for me to do four on each level, one in each corner, and I found a design that I believe will allow me to stack up to five villages in each corner on each level. <coughs> Sorry, yeah, so a total of 20 villages per level, three levels, 60 villages. Uh, I need to test it out, but it should work and it involves making your village and then snapping villages back to it from one villager sized villages um, if I can find the video I found it in I will link you to that in the description real quick I'm gonna kill the skeleton he's still over here there we go and slime why not so I'm going to need at least 
two villagers to start this project though, which means I get to go exploring, which I'll do right after I get some more food, because you can see I have one brick left, and that is not enough to go exploring with, so we'll be back in a few minutes. Alrighty, here's what we've got so far, I'm gonna go hunt for villagers, um, you can take a long pick, get rid of that hoe, uh, probably take the iron pick, got some coal, arrows, bow, repair bow, some blocks, torches, bunch more food, and put water in the bucket there, and head out. And if any of you noticed this, it is a chicken farm. There's a hopper under there, I'm going. I made a much bigger farm over here for wheat, so hopefully bread won't be a problem, won't hinder me from caving or anything, and we'll phase out this area as needed. And hopefully after I find these villagers, mark down their coordinates, and find a way to get them back here so we can start our iron farm, we can start making something to capture all these uh, witches. Alrighty. I'm gonna go find a village. I'll be back. Hello, village. How are you? Let's see what we can see. Alrighty. Pretty bad village, really. Um, only one farm and it only had wheat. That's annoying. I was hoping for some potatoes. Uh, it did, however, have a library I'm standing on top of, so I've got some books. Um, it had a good number of villagers, which are in their own little hidey holes now, or nicely secured in their own houses and I'm going to head back to my home base and see if I can't figure out an easier way to get between here and there using hopefully uh, a short waterway because this is uh, you know a thousand blocks away give or take um, or a rail system um, thinking probably a rail system through the nether so I'll be back after I figure that out. Glad I got diamonds and uh, start setting that up. Alrighty, trip one to the nether. Iron, get that. Uh, got some cobble to build, chest to put the flint and steel in as soon as I've secured. And minimal everything else for now. I'll come right back. Let's go see what kind of nether we get. That is a big drop into lava. All right, hold and shift, hold and shift. Put out these fires real quick. What else do we have? Yeah, this is no bueno. Alrighty. So I'm going to secure the portal real quick, and then we'll continue. <laughs> Explain a few things then, yeah. Okay, so what we're looking at here is using the nether to get somewhere quicker uh, versus where we are now. Uh, so, I mean, right now we're in an area called the overworld. And it's the main world you start in, where you'll be doing a lot of your Minecraft, especially at the beginning. Then there's another area called the Nether, and there's a third area, which we'll get to eventually. The nice thing about the Nether is that every block over in the Nether, nether so from there to there, but in the Nether, is actually eight blocks over in this world. So knowing the location of this portal, and the location of that village using the x y and z coordinates here i can go into the nether build a portal and be reasonably sure that i'm going to come out almost right on top of that village that will allow me to transport the villagers much more easily than attempting to do it here because in the nether the only hostile mobs unless you attack something 
are magma slime and ghasts, both of which can be avoided fairly well by building towards the ceiling of the nether, because unlike the overworld, which has a maximum build height but no actual ceiling, the nether has an actual ceiling at 128 blocks, which you can go up to, and a lot of people build nether hubs up there. I will probably be doing the same, and essentially you just link all your portals and tunnels between portals to one central hub at the top of the map. That way you don't have to worry about your ghasts and magma slimes and things like that as much. So, I'm going to go take this obsidian here, uh, my flint and steel's in the nether, and I'm going to go build another portal and a route to it up on top of the world, well, as close to the top of the nether as I can get, and we will be back. Alrighty, welcome back guys, um, it's been a couple days since I last recorded, um, done a lot, we got a bunch of resources here, um, been doing a lot of caving, found a lot of stuff. I uh, started making some stone bricks because I really like building with those and have some chests full of cobble. Um, and just other resources. This chest has everything in it for the witch farm. Um, well, the start of. Uh, which is what we're going to do here in a second. Um, I'll show you what I've done. Uh, right out here, um, made the wheat farm bigger, and over here, started taking down the dirt witch farm and getting it ready for this upgrade, and started building a tower for the villager farm. So we'll go back in the cave real quick and grab our building materials and start working on that. Alrighty, welcome back guys. Um, it's been a couple days since I last recorded. Um, done a lot. We got a bunch of resources here, um, been doing a lot of caving, found a lot of stuff, uh, started making some stone bricks because I really like building with those and have some chests full of cobble. Um, and just other resources. This chest has everything in it for the witch farm, um, well, the start of, uh, which is what we're going to do here in a second. Um, I'll show you what I've done. Uh, right out here, um, made the wheat farm bigger, and over here, started taking down the dirt witch farm and getting it ready for this upgrade, and started building a tower for the villager farm. So we'll go back in the cave real quick and grab our building materials and start working on that. Hey guys, this is just a heads up. We lost a whole bunch of audio on designing the witch farm and some stuff here. Um, for whatever reason, there was just a lot of bass and noise from the air conditioning or my subwoofer or something. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately I missed a lot of information on how to do the witch farm. I'll try to make sure to show it off at the beginning of episode 3 here. And um, I'll give a link to the person who designed it so you can have a look at how to build it instead of just seeing the final product. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. 